This newsreel is being brought to you by Burdette's Tea Shop in downtown Springfield. Two different high schools in Robertson County Thursday night had events designed to raise money, awareness, and offer support to those that are dealing with cancer. Over at East Robertson, it was called a pink out. Everybody, including the men, wore bright pink shirts, all designed to uh, raise funds and show support for Mary Cook. Uh, Mary's the principal of East Robertson High School, and she was diagnosed with breast cancer. When Mary walked out on the floor, <laughs> there was little doubt that she was certainly well-loved by her students. Now Jenny Abney, that's her there on the left, uh, she's the mother of one of the students. She was also diagnosed with cancer, so this was an opportunity for the school to get together before a big game and uh, raise some funds and show their support to these two ladies. I had an opportunity to uh, speak to Mary. I asked her uh, what the support meant to her. It's very overwhelming. It's very humbling. And I, I mean, I'm just truly blessed. The Lord has, has blessed me through all this. I mean, uh, you have everybody in the room putting on pink shirts. That must be a, a <laughs> testament to character. Is, <laughs> that is very overwhelming. I, I just figured we'd sell a few shirts. When they came to me and asked me could they sell a shirt, I said, well, that's fine. I didn't think it would be anything like this. It helps. It helps. And it helps me to come to school. Uh, I could take off, but for me, I just this is home and this is what keeps me going and makes me go. She's like our mom when we're sick. We can go to her for help. Um, she helps us with if there's any issues at school, if we don't feel good, if we need help with our work. She's always there for us, so we want her to know that we're here for her. Apparently you have a room full of people that agree with you. <laughs> yes, sir. Then Smokey dashed over to White House Heritage High School for their Relay for Life event. Relay for Life is an opportunity for the community to become aware of cancer, its problems, its cures, and we raise funds to provide awareness, training, and cures. Now, one of the things that Relay for Life does well, other than uh, raising money and awareness for cancer research, is uh, when they have these events, <laughs> they're always a lot of fun. In this case, uh, they were having a chili cooking contest, and uh, of course, what good is a chili cooking contest without judges? And they cut no corners there, I'm telling you. After I went through the retina scan and uh, got into the back room where they had the judges hidden out, uh, it was a veritable who's who. Although Relay for Life does a great job of these events, and they are a lot of fun, and they dream of a day of uh, not having to do these events, uh, because that would mean uh, the cure for cancer has been found. Uh, cancer research has come a long way, even in just the last 10 years, but unfortunately, we still have a long way to go, so uh, we should all feel very very fortunate uh, that organizations like uh, Relay for Life exist. Well, we have several cancer survivors here in the building, and so it means a lot to us to be able to host an event like this and show our support for our survivors here. Donna Pond, working hard over there. She always says she never wins nothing, but she wins every year. Well, there you have it, Robertson County. I'm going to let the footage roll here so you can get a bit of a gander at uh, the companies that are involved with uh, Relay for Life. I highly recommend that if you see them when you're out and about, pull in and spend thousands of dollars there. They'll be appreciative to you, and it's certainly a way for you to say thank you to them. If you want to know what the news is in the county, you check on Smoky Bones. Well, thank you for that compliment, sir. This has been Jim Ball reporting for Smoky Barn News, your number one source for news in Robertson County. Get away for lunch in the quaint atmosphere of Burdett's Tea Shop. Nestled in the middle of historic downtown Springfield, enjoy signature sandwiches and freshly made soups and delectable desserts. And then shop an array of gift selections like serving pieces, aprons, books, jewelry, and wonderful seasonal whimsies. We're easy to find in Springfield on the corner of 7th Avenue and Main Street. We're open Monday through Saturday, 11 to 2.30. For more information, see a link to our Facebook page below this video.